Assalamu alaikum. How are you today, my smart students? It's math class, and today we're going to continue the lesson that we have started yesterday. So, who's going to help me today and tell me what was the lesson of yesterday? Excellent! Yesterday we have learned about two dimensional shapes. And today we will continue learning more things about the two dimensional shapes. So are you ready to help me today? Are you ready to learn new things today? Yes, I can say that you are amazing and you are always ready to learn. So Get your math book because we're going to use it. Grab some pencils and sit properly. So, let's read the day and date before starting our lesson. So, today is... Yeah, I want to hear you say it. Excellent! Today is Monday and the date is June 8th. 2020 Thank you everyone for helping me. So in the lesson of yesterday we were talking about two dimensional shapes. So later on I want you to help me to say the name of each shape. And before doing this let's read the objectives together. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify two-dimensional geometric shapes. And here we go everyone, mental math time. So let's read the question together. Write 589 as a number. Write 589 as a number. Okay, this is the first thing. The second thing that, do you see the number over here? Can you read it? Read the number. Louder everyone so I can hear you. Excellent. 321. So, can you write how many hundreds, tens, and ones in this number? So, stop the video for a while, get a piece of paper, write the answers down, and after that, let's check the answers together. So, let's check the answers together. Wow, all of you got correct answers. You are so smart. So everyone, let's review or let's, let me say, um, read what's written over here together, okay? So a two-dimensional shape is a shape with only length and width. So everyone, let's read the name of each shape and I want you everyone to pay attention to the number of the sides, okay? Because our lesson for tomorrow will be about the number of sides and angles of the two-dimensional shapes, okay? But now I want you to memorize the name of each shape. So let's read pentagon, hexagon, parallelogram, trapezoid, circle, triangle, square, rectangle. So let's read it one more time and I want you to repeat 
after me. I want to hear your voice. Okay, everyone? So let's get started. Pentagon, hexagon, parallelogram, trapezoid, circle, triangle, square, and finally rectangle. And as you can see, there is a link over here and it's about two-dimensional shapes so I want you to watch the video everyone and when you come back we will continue the lesson remember I dropped the link in the description below so everyone now I need your help so are you going to help me I know that you will because you are wonderful and always ready to help Miss Mona. So I want you to look over here, okay, look at the house and try to find how many circles are there. Not only circles but squares, rectangles, triangles and hexagons. So get a piece of paper and Try to look for the shapes that I mentioned. Stop the video for a while and then we will check the answers together, okay? So let's get started. So let's check the answers together. Excellent! I am so happy to hear that all your answers are correct. You are doing a great job. So, how many circles everyone? Three circles. One, two, three. Excellent. And how many squares? I need your help. So one, two, and three. And how many rectangles? So let's count them together, everyone. I'm going to change the color. Okay, so one, okay, this is, oh, sorry, one, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. And how many triangles? One, two, wonderful. And finally, how many hexagons have you found? Excellent, one hexagon. Thank you everyone for helping. And now let's move to our book. So everyone, Open your math book on page 741. Write the day and date and now let's read the question together. Circle the shapes that match the name. So I want you to read each name and then find the shape. So the first one is trapezoid hexagon, triangle, pentagon. After that, write the name of the shape. Circle the shape that matches. Okay, so you need to write the name and circle the shape that matches. Finally, circle the shape that doesn't belong in each group. 
So I'm going to give you some time. Please stop the video and try to solve these questions by yourself. Okay? So, here I want you to find the trapezoid. Where is it? Circle it. Here, I want you to find the hexagon. Where is it, everyone? Circle it. And here, I want you to look for the triangle. Where is the triangle, everyone? I can see more than one, right? So circle two of them. And finally, the pentagon. Where is it? Yes, you did it. Okay, and here, write the name of the shape. Okay, so, can you write the name of this shape? Excellent! It's written here somewhere. So, just copy it over here. Now, circle the shape that matches. Great! And here everyone, try or let me say write the name of this shape. And after that circle, <coughs> the shape that matches. Excellent! And now circle the shape that doesn't belong in each group. They are all the same, right? But as you can see, there is one shape that doesn't belong in each group, right? Even here. So let's check the answers together. Okay, check your answers. Wow, I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work, my lovely and super students. And here is task number two. I want you now to move to page 742. Write the J and date, everyone. Here is the question, and it's super easy. What you need to do is to write how many of each shape do you see. So as you can see, here are different shapes, right? So you need to find out how many triangles, squares, hexagons, pentagons, rectangles, and circles. Stop the video for a while, everyone, and take your time to count the shapes, right? You need to do this. So, we are going to check the answers together. When you are done. And here we go. Let's check the answers. How many triangles? One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. Excellent. How many squares? One. This is not a square. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And how many hexagons? Excellent. You can see one. And how many pentagons? You can see also one. Excellent. Oh, and how many rectangles? Go ahead. One, two. And how many circles? Zero circles. No circles. And finally, give examples of objects in your school that look like triangles and squares. Excellent! Windows, doors, signs, pictures, and books. Today, everyone, you were amazing.
and you did a great job. I am so proud of you. Okay, and have a nice day and see you tomorrow. Bye.